Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Food with Dottie. I recently carved a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, so I thought I would make use of the pumpkin seeds, and this week we're going to bake pumpkin seeds. It's one of my favorite snacks, but I usually only eat it in October when pumpkins are available at the grocery store, so I try to make this snack whenever I can. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a decent sized pumpkin, and then you're going to go ahead and cut the head of it off, where the little stem is. You're going to insert the knife at an angle, and then make kind of a sawing motion in a circle. You can pop the head off, so it makes kind of cone. Then you can carve out all of the seeds and the pulp from the inside. You can use a spoon if you want. I like something that's kind of shaped like this thing. Uh, it makes it easier to get through all of the fibers. Then you can dump everything into a bowl and then rinse everything out in a colander. Make sure you get as much of the pulp off as possible. Some of it's still going to stay on there though. Then hand dry it off with a paper towel. Make sure it's pretty dry. Next thing you're going to do is season it. And there are a couple ways to season it. I'm going to do mine spicy, but you can also make sweet pumpkin seeds. So for mine, I'm going to use olive oil, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. But if you want to make them sweet, you could use vegetable oil and brown sugar. Then mix it all up and make sure every seed is coated pretty well. Then you can pour them onto a baking sheet. I used a little bit of tin foil so I don't get the baking sheet too dirty. While you are seasoning your pumpkin seeds, you can preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Now after your oven's been heating up, you can stick your pumpkin seeds in there and cook them for about 25 minutes. And you want to kind of move them around every 10 minutes or so just to make sure all the sides are evenly cooked. But overall you're going to leave them in there for about 25 minutes. They're really good. They're perfect. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Food with Dottie. If you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I hope you guys have an excellent Halloween. I had a lot of fun cooking these Halloween themed treats for you guys. I hope you have a delicious day and I will see you next week.